Two-year-old James Bowman loves Elmo. Yep, he saw him on his diaper one day, and that was it. <laughs> Walk into his Lithia living room, and you notice there are Elmo dolls everywhere. James even has Elmo slippers. About an hour later, I noticed exactly what it was saying, and my son was repeating exactly what it was saying. Yeah, James. When he's not playing with one of the Elmos, he's watching Elmo on TV. His latest Elmo, the Elmo Knows Your Name doll, recently ran out of batteries. His mother, Melissa, put new ones in. Yeah, James. What was that? Yeah, James. This Elmo doll connects to a computer to learn certain phrases and the child's name. But yesterday's battery switch appears to have taught Elmo how to make death threats. It's not something that really you would think that would ever come out of a toy, but once I heard it, I was just... It's kind of distraught. Yeah, James. Melissa has a dilemma. This Elmo is her son's favorite toy, but she doesn't want him to hear the Sesame Street character saying the offending phrase. Yeah, James. She called the toy's maker Fisher Price. Considering the fact that my son was repeating it has really upset me, and there's nothing that they are even going. They didn't even sound concerned about it really when I t when I spoke to them. So for now, this Elmo is going to be out of the mix at the Bowman house. And this is his absolute favorite toy, so we've been going through a lot of hassle because <laughs> he's trying to climb up the counter and up the closets to get it.